Hello everyone, today I want to talk about a question I had last year when I took a VoIP class. Uh, the question kind of runs out of uh, the vein that everyone has when they take a VoIP class and that's how do you break back the audio so you can listen to a VoIP conversation. It's always the thing that kind of everybody looks forward to. And I'm going to show you how to do that really quick. Um, I'm going to bring up Wireshark here and, and show you how this is done, but then that's not really my question though. My question is a, a little different. Uh, here is Wireshark and I've already brought up a packet capture. You can see it's just a basic VoIP conversation. Uh, you've got the uh, SIP protocol, SDP. Uh, what this is doing is these uh, SIP packets are just setting up the call itself. Uh, once the call is all set up, then you get this stream of RTP packets. All these RTP packets are the actual voice going back and forth from the two uh, instruments, and there's a lot of those. So the way that you break back the audio so you can listen to it, a lot of people have done this a thousand times, is you just go to telephony, come down to VoIP calls. It'll display the calls that have gone on while the uh, packet capture was taking place. So uh, all I gotta do is highlight it, click player, decode it, and there we have it. All I need to do then is check this box and hit play, and I can uh, get my audio back. Now, <laughs> this particular capture has a lot of uh, packet loss in it that I've injected. Uh, you can see that uh, you know it's really easy to be able to break the voice back. Now, the question that I had in the class that I took last year was, well, what happens if you don't capture this setup? Because what happens is Wireshark uh, captures this setup and then it knows to label all these as RTP packets and to label them as voice. So, I'm gonna open up a different uh, packet capture that I have and this packet capture is nothing uh, but RTP packets but as you can see it doesn't label it as RTP it labels it as UDP there is no call set up in this uh, packet capture I completely cut it out so Wireshark doesn't know uh, what to do with the packets that are, are left and that's the RTP packets and so all it does is it labels it UDP it knows it's a form of UDP packet uh, but it doesn't, it's not really sure what to do with it. So if you go to telephony, you go to VoIP calls, you take a look, you get absolutely nothing here. There's an alternate way you can try to break back the uh, calls. Go to telephony, go to RTP, show all streams, and once again, you get absolutely nothing. The question that I had was, well, it's still an RTP packet. Like, why isn't Wireshark, why does Wireshark have to have the call set up? Uh, there must be something there to tell Wireshark if this is an RTP packet. You know, uh, it just doesn't make sense that just because you don't have the call set up, it completely breaks down. At the time, the instructor I was taking the course with said, "Well, it's an open source product. You can write any kind of thing that you want to with it and snap it on and and have it break back the audio for you." But it didn't seem like that was going to work well. So there is a very simple way of doing it. All you have to do is come down and right click on a packet that you know to be RTP. Scroll down and you'll see something that says decode as. Click that. And now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take and we're going to tell Wireshark that this particular packet is an RTP packet. The way you do it is come over to the right, click in this box and type in RTP. Select RTP, hit apply, hit OK. When you go back to the screen, now everything is an RTP packet. We can then take and go to telephony, and don't go to VoIP calls, because if you go to VoIP calls, you're still not going to get anything. It hasn't seen the setup. But you can go to RTP packets, go to show stream analysis. Here you have two streams. You can highlight both of these. Click analyze. Go to player. Hit decode. And now you can decode and play this. So even without having the call set up, you can still play back the audio that's there. You just kind of have to convince Wireshark that that particular packet is indeed an RTP packet. Now, when you have a uh, capture that has a lot of different types of packets and all you see are these UDP packets sprinkled in among thousands of other packets, you might be asking yourself, well, how do you know that that particular UDP packet is an RTP packet? that I can uh, change over. Well, there, there's a way to do that. Um, there's some things you can look for. That's a, probably another video some other time. I would say uh, one other thing is when you get done uh, with Wireshark in this respect, uh, go back to decode and clear. 
uh, what you've just done. That way any subsequent uh, capture files that you bring in doesn't automatically assume that some UDP packet is an RTP packet. Uh, just clear it before you uh, leave the packet capture that you're dealing with. That's all I've got for you in the way of new things. Just to give you a heads up, the class is still being developed. It's almost done. I've got about a month's worth of work still to go. Uh, it's going to be great. Uh, it is just a slap full of projects. Um, I've already started giving out some quotes. So if you would like a quote, I can deliver the class here in Tampa or I can come to you. So just let me know what you would like and I'd be happy to send you a quote. That's all I've got and I'll see you later. Thanks.